I'm Tom. I'm the cooking transportologist. Now, I've got a really exciting uh, cooking show today. It's about um, cooking truck drivers. Uh, it's called, that's why it's called the cooking transportologist. You go by a truck stop anywhere in the United States, you see a truck driver sitting over the wheel and he's eating something. What's that uh, truck driver eating? Well, that's the big mystery. We want to crack the case today. What do truck drivers eat? Now, um, this is the hidden world of transportology. I want to show you today very quickly in this short video how a truck driver eats. Now, already in the container, we have cabbage, uh, meatloaf, uh, beans. We want to add some potatoes and green peppers. Uh, we've uh, We've got, got the fire on low. Now, you're saying so far, everything does not sound really that far off from what you would cook at your evening meal. But here's where we begin to depart from uh, your typical cooking methods. Now, truck drivers have diesel engines. They have diesel fuel. You don't have that. You have uh, at, uh, at your hand, maybe down in the garage, in the uh, uh, back of your car, you have maybe some motor oil. Here's what you do. Go and look or go and buy a good 30 weight motor oil. Now I have right here a cheaper brand of 30 weight motor oil. Now this is the way that cook, uh, truck drivers cook. What you do, you add some of this motor oil. Now this sounds a little bizarre, but this is the way that truck drivers cook and eat. And it is surprisingly good. Always again, whenever you buy the uh, uh, motor oil, make sure you get a healthy uh, weight motor oil. That will bring you into a typical uh, pot of food uh, made by truck drivers. If you really want to spice it up, a lot of truck drivers don't like to talk about this because it's not diesel blended or for a diesel engine. But if you have a good four cycle oil, that really, this is sort of like the uh, cayenne pepper uh, of the trucking industry. Now, put just a little bit of the four cycle in because you don't want to overpower it. Just a little bit in and just, just a touch, just a smidgen, and it's just going to make all the difference in the world. Now, as I do that, what we're going to do next um, is really considered mm, on the culinary edge. This is cooking geniushood, if you will. Last night a young couple stayed with us. They had a baby uh, with them. They had to leave early before we got up. They left us a gift. Now, here is a baby diaper. They left us a, a gift. Uh, take that baby diaper and take some of the portion of it, put it down in there, <coughs> and make sure you get enough. <coughs> make sure it's the right texture. Sometimes the only thing that you can do as a cook is test it yourself. that up really good. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. This is looking good. Here we got our water that has come to a good healthy bowl. Put it in. Cover it. Let it stand. And then the finished product is right here. Look at Look at the little chunks in there. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. I've been a truck driver for only for over 30 years, and I can tell you, this is what transportologists eat. This stuff is great. It's awesome. There will be national restaurant cooking transportologist chains popping up everywhere. Special ingredient out of this diaper. You know, it's do what? No, no, the, no. This is cake icing. They just had a diaper and they left it in the. I'm not implying nothing. I, this is cake uh, icing for a. Well, hold on now. This has got out of hand. 
We're going to cut the show right now. I'm too upset. I'm really mad. I've uh, got some accusations from out back. Dr. Ron Blair is throwing accusations at me. Dr. Ron, you better get a good lawyer, old buddy. Let me tell you right now, you better get one good lawyer. Uh, until next time, our next video is called The White Right. See you there. Did you hit red? Hmm? Did you hit red?